हेलो डॉक्टर माय नेम इज डॉक्टर जसमीन प्रजापति और आज हमारे साथ है डॉक्टर तेजन भट्ट कंसल्टेंट पीडियाटिशियन इन राजकोट सानिध्य हॉस्पिटल टर्सरी केयर सेंटर तो वेलकम डॉक्टर तेजन भट्ट मैम डॉक्टर तेजन भट्ट Yes, I have completed my MBBS from Gandhinagar Medical College and MD from Baroda Medical College. After serving one year bond, I went to Delhi to complete one year pediatric intensive care fellowship, and then I returned to my hometown and started working as consultant pediatrician and intensivist in Rajkot. So, you chose medicine ki jagah pediatrics. So, what are the reasons you can say about it? What are the reasons you can say about it? तो उसके बारे में कुछ डिटेल में बताएं और क्या क्या डिफरेंसेस होते हैं एज अडल्ट मेडिसिन और पीडियाटिक मेडिसिन में क्या डिफरेंस आते और रेसिडेंसी के बाद क्या डिफरेंसेस रहते हैं व्हाई आई चूज पीडियाटिक और मेडिसिन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कि कोई भी ब्रांच आप चूज चूज करते हो तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आपको माइंड में क्लैरिटी होना चाहिए कि आइदर यू आर गोइंग फॉर मेडिसिन रिलेटेड ब्रांचेस और सर्जिकल ब्रांचेस यू कैन चूज एज अ फर्स्ट पॉइंट कि मैं रेडियो रेडियो नहीं मिलेगा तो मेडिसिन मेडिसिन नहीं मिलेगा तो सर्जरी सर्जरी नहीं मिलेगा तो और तो और तो नहीं मिलेगा तो पीडियाटिक ऐसा नहीं होता सो बिकॉज योर माइंड सेट योर स्किल्स योर पर्सनैलिटी इट ऑल डिपेंड्स कि आप कौन से रेटिव होना चाहिए तो भी यू हैव टू ट्रैक ड्रॉप ओनली ऐसा नहीं है सो एज अ पीडियाट्रिक्स इट्स रिवॉर्डिंग लॉन्ग रन मेडिसिन मिल रहा था बट इट वॉज इन सेलेटिक इंस्टीट्यूट और सेल्फ फाइनेंस मेडिकल कॉलेज ओके रीजन बींग कि आपको एक्सपोजर ज्यादा मिलता है वर्कलोड ज्यादा मिलता है क्वालिटी एंड क्वांटिटी ऑफ पेशेंट ज्यादा मिलते हैं आपको फ्री हैंड्स ऑन मिलता है ठीक है सब पेशेंट आपको ही मैनेज करने होते हैं और जो आपका रिसर्च वर्क है वर्क है तो वो आपको ज्यादा मिलती नहीं मिल रहा है तो आइर यू टू स्टेप डाउन एज अ ब्रांच ओके सो यू कैन कंसिडर पीडियाटिक इफ यू आर डी एन बी इंस्टीट्यूट तो you even you will see most of the cases like if you don't get medicine one will opt for pediatrics but it's not actually actually the case if you have good interest if you are uh, uh, having passionate love to a pediatric you can directly choose pediatric or any if you are going for the diagnostic branch or treatment uh, modalities not going towards the surgical branch so okay. that uh, point should be clear in your mind after that you can choose pediatrics on a first go as well It's not like that. If you are not getting medicine, then and then you are going to choose pediatrics. So reason that you you haven't occupied medicine branch, you can directly opt for the pediatrics. It's one of the most rewarding and satisf uh, opted for pediatrics. Other specialitically, I feel more much more satisfied. We uh, always hears that if we don't get medicine, then we have to do more neat tests. So we can do pediatrics too. I am in uh, working in the UN Mehta Institute. So there are uh, so hmm. many residents who have done pediatrics and then doing the cardiology. So uh, it is the one of the reason people are uh, uh, opting for the pediatrics. Yeah, it is the reason, but not one of the great reason. Uh, so out of ten, one or two will do like that. Otherwise, what's yes, yes. up? In current era, you you do have options after completing your MD pediatrics. You do have fellowship options. You do have super specialty options. You do have options in which choose for cardiology. You can choose for, <coughs> and it is not considered as end branch in recent era. Previously, yes, it was yes. like that. Okay, pediatrics is the end branch. You can uh, complete your MD or DCH, and you can start practicing from a word go. But it's not like that in uh, current era. so you can do that if you are uh, keen to have uh, goal to do some uh, sort of like cardiology so you can choose pediatrics you can go for your pediatric time yes yes okay sir uh, jaise aapne uh, uh, hmm. government medical college se uh, pediatrics opt kiya hai so uh, what is the difference between the md versus dnb versus the dch काफी लोगों को ये होता है कि मुझे करना पीडियाट्रिक्स ही है काफी फीमेल्स को ऐसा होता है कि उन्हें पीडियाट्रिक्स ही लेना है उन्हें कोई और ब्रांच नहीं लेनी है तो उसके लिए क्या ये ऑप्शंस सारे ऑप्शंस बेटर है या कुछ डिफरेंसेस रहते हैं तो इन सिंपल वर्ड इफ यू हैव डन योर एनडी यू विल गुड यू विल गेट गुड एक्सपोजर यू विल गेट गुड नंबर ऑफ वर्क Uh, quantity of workload will be there, 
and after completing your md you have chances to go for in and join as a senior resident and and after that you can join dch if you right. have option for pediatrics if you are opting for dnb in pediatrics in one of the institute you can do great work difference between md and d completed my md, MD i was like i was uh, having feeling that dnb is not that superior comparing to md but recently many good institutes have come up with good clinical courses for dnb pediatrics so anyone uh, if you are getting good dnb institute in new delhi or mumbai you can even uh, let go md branches md uh, pediatrics if you are keen to work in corporate or private hospital if you are keen to work in government hospital in government medical college then md is must for dch okay. i personally do not uh, advise because what happens with dch dch uh, or the diploma uh, diploma courses they are courses. declining in number the yes, course sir. providers are declining in the number at the same time recognition of cpa student are uh, is also declined for that after completing your cps or dch uh, out of 10 eight to nine will go for secondary dnb yes okay yes. so what happened with them uh, so it will be almost four to five years of course in in that you will get one uh, equivalent degree to your primary dnb or md candidate so yes. if you are getting cps or dch uh, if it is very good institute then yes yes if it is so so institute then i would not recommend to do dch or cps otherwise dnb and pediatrics is fine if you are doing for good institute okay so uh, one of the uh... मोस्ट कॉमन क्वेश्चन कम्स फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट एंड हमने भी देखा है कि हम हमारे जब इंटर्नशिप में भी पीडियाटिक uh, की ड्यूटी लगती है तो एन आई सी यू पी आई सी यू में ड्यूटी लगती है ओपीडी में ड्यूटी लगती है इमरजेंसी कॉल्स आते हैं ओ बी जी वाई में से सो इट इज हैक्टिक इन द इंटर्नशिप इन इट इज हैक्टिक इन रेसिडेंसी ऑल्सो पोस्ट रेसिडेंसी ऑल्सो तो वॉट इज द वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस इन द एज अ पीडियाटिक ब्रांच Uh, in residency versus after post residency also so what happens in residency ki you will have emergency you will have your in life you if you are posted in thing today i will come back at around 12 uh, uh, am uh, next day so it was like that duty but it's not the case in if you have completed your md and start working in uh, private or government sector so what uh, in Uh, the peculiarity of pediatrics is the diversity of emergency is quite uh, quite huge even high grade fever your uh, nose block even excessive crying even not finding uh, vein in the pediatric patient is also emergency in emergency yes it's not like that uh, it's not like that in other branches so it is peculiar so you have to be ready you have to be passionate you have to be dedicated to target all the you you can't just let it go ki nahi high grade fever hai to ye thodi der mein utar jayenge you have to be more empathetic you have to to be somewhat caring to the parents and the at the time of dealing it it, it can't be maine dekh legi aap nahi honge to in the post residency so into like if you are going to work in government setup you will be have a different life if you are opting as a intensive care branch like me you will be having different life yes so at some point of time after 2 years 3 years of setting in any point any uh, any setup you will find your work life balance and your family and your surrounding will be adapting to your uh, life and work life balance will be maintained accordingly it's not like that ke residency duty uski hectic hai to throughout life uski hectic hi rahegi hectic rehta hai no doubt एक्टिक रहता है इन टर्म्स की आपका जैसे सेटअप है उसके अकॉर्डिंग एक्टिक रहता है बट यू विल फाइंड योर वे तो सर का इन शॉर्ट यही कहना है कि आपको चूज करना है पोस्ट रेसिडेंसी की आपको किस वर्किंग uh, सेटअप में काम करना है और कैसे अपने आसपास के कल्चर जो फैमिली है उसमें भी कैसे एडेप्ट करना है उनको भी आपके साथ कैसे एडेप्ट करना है तो इट्स अप टू यू हाउ यू हैंडल द सिचुएशंस ओके 
तो सर आफ्टर रेसिडेंसी फेलोशिप वर्सेस डीएम का क्या अप्रोच रहता है सुपर स्पेशलिटी का और उसके बाद अपना अगर हम प्राइवेट सेटअप करने का सोच रहे हैं या फिर अपना कॉर्पोरेट जॉब्स ढूंढ रहे तो उसका क्या डिफरेंसेस रहते हैं स्टडी फर्दर यू आइदर हैव डीएम और डीआरएनडी ओके सो आफ्टर पीडियाट्रिक्स लाइक यू कैन ऑफर आईसीयू यू कैन ऑफर हेमेटोंग न्यूरोलॉजी कार्डियोलॉजी एट द सेम टाइम फॉर सुपर स्पेशलिटी इट इज 3 इयर्स कोर्स आइदर यू कैन ऑफर डीएम और यू कैन ऑफर द डीआरएनडी सो दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग फॉर बोथ ऑफ द आईसीयू कार्डियोलॉजी न्यूरोलॉजी then if you are not willing to do uh, further studies you can opt any of the uh, like you can opt for government job like for that you have to complete uh, you have completed your md followed by one year of ssc and you can apply for initially uh, as a ad hoc uh, assistant professor post that you will get confirmed by your uh, state uh, counseling and examination for private hospital you can either put your own setup okay so the good part about pediatric hospital infrastructure and revenue utna requirement nahi rehta so uh, you can have your own opd setup usme bahut infrastructure bhi nahi chahiye utna resources bhi nahi chahiye ek simple bed rakh liya apne day care basis pe admit kar so but from that jo aapka uh, clinic ka rent wagera hoga जनरेट uh, किया third option is you work in tertiary care unit corporate so we give you some salary plus it will happen ki aap dheere dheere usme establish hoge aapke aapke khud ke bhi patients banenge theek hai at the same time you will have backup of your nic and pic other patient deteriorate hota hai so you have your backup you have your team aapke sath seniors honge aapke juniors honge so workload balance maintain rahega at the same time divide हो जाएगा कि ये ये इसने देख लिया ये मैंने देख लिया ये मेरे जूनियर ने देख लिया ठीक है तो वो बेटर रहता है तो टायर वन सिटी में आप पकड़ो दिल्ली है अहमदाबाद है इवन अभी राजकोट में भी ऐसे दो तीन हॉस्पिटल्स है तो उसमें क्या करते हैं कि ऑलमोस्ट फाइव टू सिक्स पीडियाटिशियन की टीम होती है टू विल सी आउट पेशेंट आउट स्टेशन ओपीडी कभी कभी क्या होता है कि सिटी के एक पार्ट में इसने ओपीडी देखा दूसरे ने उसने देखा तीसरे ने इस तरह देखा चौथे ने इस तरह देखा एक सेंटर पे सब पेशेंट एडमिट करते हैं ठीक है एट द सेम टाइम जो हॉस्पिटल के खुद के पेशेंट है वो तो आती है तो ऐसा भी सेटअप कर सकते हैं तो देर आर थ्री वेज आफ्टर रेसिडेंसी यू कैन ऑफर फर्स्ट इज योर गवर्नमेंट सेकंड इज योर ओन सेटअप एंड थर्ड इज यू वर्किंग इज इन पीडियाटिक स्पेशलिटी एट द सेम टाइम फोर्थ यू कैन कंसिडर इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन मल्टी स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल इफ इट इज गुड वर्किंग मल्टी स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल वहाँ पे मेडिसिन भी है सर्जरी भी है गाइने की है पीडियाटिक भी है तो उधर भी यू कैन डू योर वर्क वहाँ पे क्या होगा कि आपकी ओपीडी भी होगी गाइने के साथ अटैचमेंट भी रहेगा आपके फ्यू बेड्स भी होंगे तो आप इंडोर भी कर सकते हो और थोड़ा सेफ भी रहेगा कि वहाँ पे दूसरे डॉक्टर्स भी होंगे तो इनकेस आप अवेलेबल नहीं हो तो वो थोड़ा बहुत मैनेज हो जाता है ठीक है और अगर आपको ऐसा लगे कि पेशेंट थोड़ा क्रिटिकल हो रहा है सिक हो रहा है तो यू कैन रिफर एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम और गाइडेंस सिस्टमेटिकली जो भी गाइडेंस भी चाहिए वो मल्टी स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटलिटी में अवेलेबल रहता है बाकी हम प्राइवेट सेक्टर में वी हैव टू ऑन कॉल डॉक्टर्स अवेलेबिलिटी यस सर इज इट ट्रू के एज अ पीडियाट्रिशियन इट इज द लॉन्ग लर्निंग का कंपेयर टू मेडिसिन बिकॉज वी हैव लाइक ऑल द प्रोसीजर्स वी एज अ पीडियाट्रिशियन वी हैव टू डू वी कैन कॉल एन एस टी एवरी टाइम so so what is that that so, uh, so for that, uh, after uh, giving my almost five years in this pediatric field I can assure you that it's a good thing if you are having good le- yes. long learning curve you are 
uh, get to know intubation you are get to know how to put central line how to do basic ultrasound how to do emergency you are not dependent on other specialty like even for sedation we don't we are not dependent on the anesthesia we are not dependent for intubation for the anesthesia team we are not dependent for any basic ultrasonography for radiology team we are not dependent in for surgical if we are we have to take minor sutures uh, even for the icd icd placement we are not uh, pretty good in to choose your pediatrics as a branch so it's a good part on my note uh, uh, but it's there like you have to be more dedicated in working uh, in pediatrics because you have to do almost everything uh, so aapko gynec ka bhi thoda aana chahiye uh, anesthesia ka bhi aana chahiye radiology medicine sab ka aana chahiye thoda thoda yes sir because pediatrics yes. are not small adult yes it's like sir all round mm. you have to bat also you have to ah, ball also exactly. you have to field also so it is the most mm. important and mm. vital role to manage the all the children community uh, it's a good thing actually uh, now i will yes, ask sir. some myths uh, or facts aapko batane ki ye myths hai ya ye reality hai aur uh, jo kafi sare students ke minds mein rehti hai abhi counseling bhi ho raha hai to the one of the myths is ki uh, you have to be very sensitive in terms of the mortality and morbidity of the newborn children okay or infants so uh, what is that thing true on a long run what happens it because you have some attachment with the parent you have attachment with newborn it's true you have to be empathic at the same time you have to be professional so you don't take all these uh, these things at your home or in your personal life that's true yes. but it is not like that uh, it should uh, overburden you okay sir uh, one of the thing i we covered uh, long learning ko other thing is uh, if the students uh, as a doctor we have uh, affection with the children should we pursue this pediatric as a branch or not only affection won't help because it's like love if it is only affection it will fail at one time if you have affection and dedication to give your everything that will uh, work in your love as well as your in uh, future brand okay and sir uh, one of the fact i got to know that the uh, pediatrician is the one of the happiest doctors in the all different branches so what is your opinion mm-hmm. on that after doing in 5 uh, years so it's like the uh that i don't know the uh, factual point regarding it but what i can say that is it is more most satisfactory and rewarding branch if you are discharging a kid after uh, giving them almost 10 to 12 days of stomy icu course and she was uh, he or she was quite sick at the time of admission and uh, he is going home uh, at the time of discharge waving you bye bye and uh, thanking you so uh, nothing uh, gives more happiness than this so uh, yeah it's quite uh, rewarding and satisfying right yes it's like sir you are not saving one child life but it is the parents hope also so it's like the whole family's uh, happiness towards you like uh, that's the more of satisfactory work in the pediatrician branch uh, so thank you sir Uh, to coming to our interview and telling the diversity of the pediatrics so thank you sir exactly it's one of the good platform for students who are in confusion what to do what not to do so we are here to give them real life scenario what we face and what we are facing and what is future in particular you Thank you. Thank you.